Hi friends, in this video we will see how to create a date parameter, uh, how to create a future date or past date in your load runner. So first I am creating a simple script, just simple script, uh, which I am not going to record anything, just for example I am taking this. Now, now we can create a parameter, uh, we can create a parameter, click on parameters. And uh, under the parameters, you will get a new button here in the left bottom. Click on the new. On the top, you have parameter type. So, in the parameter type, select date and time here. Yeah, date and time. So, these are all available date and times which uh, Load Runner has provided. So, if you want to add a new parameter here, you can click add format. So, enter the format what you want here. So, you won't delete and delete down the existing one. Uh, now, if you want to uh, create a new parameter, uh, what we can do is like I am adding a new parameter y y uh, small y for two two characters, capital y for four characters, and now uh, m uh, percent m sorry twenty eighth date today so minutes it's minutes uh, m m Sorry, percentile event month hyphen uh, date uh, percentile t as date uh, next hour. So, capital hour is 24 hours format. Capital hour is 24 hours format. Small hour is a uh, small hour should be the 24 hours format. Uh, if you give i, it's a uh, uh, 12 hours format, i is a 12 hours format, capital H is a 24 hours format, i is a uh, 12 hours format, and uh, minute, percent capital M will be minute, small m will be a month, and next uh, capital S is a second, capital S is a second, or percent L S percent S is a second and dot uh, zero 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 i'm giving it uh, zero zero is milliseconds so we already have this uh, we already have this but uh, i tried it i tried as uh, month date year so here i am giving a column we have already iphone we are giving column now so just uh, not column so i'll give slash I'll give slash so you already have the icon here so I'm giving the slash now now add format so you got the new format with the expected thing so if you want to add something just like uh, Joda timestamp so still we have that option uh, still we have that option so we'll add this backspace and click add so we got the Joda, Joda, Joda timestamp now uh, you are not at creator variable name, so I created a uh, I'm creating it as a future date, future date. Okay, now the future date. So now, if you want to do offset, click this here. How many days you want to get the uh, before date? How many how many days you want to get into your future? Uh, two days of your future date, or three days of your future date, or five days of your future date. I'm taking three days of future date. Now today's 10th, it should be, uh, it should print as 13, uh, 13 as my date here, okay, 13 has to print. So yeah, I'm taking this now, oh, I'll take the parameter name, so I'll take the parameter name, click rename, copy the parameter name, I'll printing it, lr underscore output, output message, lr Understand eval string semicolon. Sorry, semicolon. Just replaying it now. I will get a future date now that is uh, 2022 fourth month 13th date. 13th date. If you go to output, you will have the time 13. Okay, we got the timer, so we can get the future date in this way. 
So if you want to get a past it, how you get a past it? So uh, same as a future date, but slight change. So I'm using, I'm creating a new variable here with the data type as a date and time and changing the variable name to past date. Past date, yes. And here I'm taking this uh, same timestamp. Here checking the uh, offset. I'm taking the period to current date. So it will take to the uh, past. So now the date is uh, 10. You should, we should get seven in my in our uh, uh, output. Okay, so okay. days and uh, parameters, copy, rename, past it. Okay, so just I'm replaying it again. You need to get two logs, one is a future date with three days uh, to current date and the past date minus current date. If you go up, so this is 7, the past date, this is 13, this is the future date, okay? And we have another way for getting this as instead of parameters, so if you want to do it from coding perspective. So we have another uh, format as well, so lr underscore save underscore save timestamp, date and time, so, okay, we have date and time, or uh, you can get timestamp as well, so uh, I'm taking the timestamp. Uh, go to the F1. So here we need to mention the uh, format of our data, format of our uh, date. So I will give the format and uh, I will take date now. So here we need a uh, format, uh, percentile YY, so percentile Y, iPhone uh, percentile M. Iphone percentile uh, D for the date and I am giving 24 hours format uh, T with percentile H 24 hours format colon percentile M for the minute colon percentile S for the second I am giving that and next with uh, date format is now I am date now uh one day i'm taking the plus one day plus one day or, or two days how many hours you want to take it how many days you want to go forward so how many uh yeah as i said i'll take uh as a five days from here and next uh uh to which variable you want to save it so name name or the parameter to be stored so here i'll give the parameter name as p underscore underscore future date okay so we have different types here so different of future date and future date and closing this semicolon and i am adding the logger here so now i will put a one more logger and one more logger uh, just to differentiate the differentiate with code okay yeah we'll take this variable paste it here so now the date is 10 you should get uh you should get 15 as any uh future date and we'll take the or uh, we'll take the past date as well here so past date will be uh we'll do minus minus five days that will be fifth okay so we'll add one more uh, logger here uh, with uh, past date, past date, copy this, paste it here. Now I am replaying it. Start a replay. Yeah, see. So this is the fifteen which we got uh, with the code, and the fifth as uh, with the uh, code. And if you see this, these are the uh, parameters which you created with the parameter list. This is the parameters what we created with the, our uh, LR functions. So we have multiple two ways we have did this. So one is date and time and timestamp. Timestamp is like epoch timestamps, uh, Unix line timestamp we can use now. For date and time format, you can do date and time, LR save date and time functions. 
So we have seen uh, two ways of creating the parameter. So we can use either way as per your convenience. So if you feel that we are creating a lot of variables in your parameter list, then you can create using the uh, wherever you require. You can use this. Uh, you can use this uh, uh, LRC update, or you can create uh, parameters using parameter list as well. It's up to you. Uh, thanks for sharing this. Hope it is helpful.